It is Sunday, the 27th of March, 2022. Welcome to the James Neal Cooper Channel. Let's begin. And for those people who have just found this channel, a very warm welcome and a also to the regulars to the channel. Thank you so much for your time. Just before we get underway, here are just some small animations that I'm showing you for today of the progress of the Three Gorges Dam in China throughout the decades. Starting off a little bit differently today, I'd like to say hello to Rich Cook from South Florida, USA. Love your videos, keep them coming, thank you very much. I was wondering, could you show a map of the electricity generated by the Free Gorges Dam distributed in China? Thanks. Most of the electricity from the Free Gorges actually goes to the eastern seaboard, to Shanghai, to Guangzhou, to Guangdong. But I do have a electricity map or an electric grid map of China. It's a little bit confusing, so what I would suggest you would do is maybe take a screenshot of it and you can analyze it there. But it looks a little bit like this for you, the national grid plan in about 2020. Quite confusing, but there it is. Unfortunately, there aren't any webcams available for the Free Gorges Dam at the moment. I do expect they possibly will be open in a couple of months time when you can see the sluice gates open and you can see everything which is happening around the, the dam on both sides, the, the outflow and the inflow side or the reservoir side and the sluice gate side. But here is an image of another dam in China. I think it's in China and you can see the power, the power which of the water. They say that in one second or in a very short space of time, one of these sluice gates or one of these water flourishes can actually fill five Olympic swimming pools. So that's the power of dams. And China, the Three Gorges, you would say is the most powerful when it needs to open up the sluice gates. One of our regular features is to look at the levels. Chongqing, 660 kilometers away from the Three Gorges has gone up at 166.08. The Free Gorges Reservoir in itself has gone down to 165.73. No inflow, but the outflow is at 7,220, which means it needs just over another 20 meters to get down to the safety level before the floods start. When are the floods going to start? Well, we have seen rain and up to sometimes 20 millimeters of rain per hour at the Free Gorges Dam itself and along the Yangtze Basin upstream and downstream of the Free Gorges Dam. So what I often say is to keep an eye on. Also in the headline, I did mention new satellite images. Now, Senatal Hub, you can go to and you can go to the playground and you can see this what i'm showing you here the timestamp is dated for the 11th of march 2022 and i'm just basically zooming in and out to see how good the focus is and nothing really is happening you can't see any of the water going in and going out you can't see the sluice gates they, they're not open and the power generation comes from either side of the dam again i'm just going in and out going upstream you can see that there's less snow than before so maybe that is one of the levels uh, why the levels have risen or not going down so slowly and going downstream as well you can get to 
other parts there, not much snow on the ground, and you can just follow the Yangtze River there. But going back to the Three Gorges, this is the latest image that we can get, even though it is two weeks old, it's the best we can get for the moment. There it is, the Three Gorges Dam satellite, many thanks to the Senatal Hub. Now, let's have a look at the weather. Nothing spectacular happening here. There is some rain coming up towards the end of next week, I do believe, but here's a little bit of music for you to enjoy the weather. Right, let's take a quick break and let's have a look what the Three Gorges Dam ship locks look like in action with a overhead view. We'll be back after this. On my search to find what's happening with the Free Gorges, the Free Gorges Dam, I sometimes do go to this website here and you're quite free to do so as well. China Free Gorges Corporation, CTG. And this is what they say about themselves, self-motivation, but I think any kind of company would do this. Founded in 1993, China's Free Gorges Corporation has taken full responsibility for the corruption construction and operation of the Three Gorges project, a four large-scale hydro power stations in certain places on the upper reaches of the Yangtze River. That's how they motivate or sell themselves. The Three Gorges Corporation doesn't just do electricity in China, it does it throughout the world and has dams in Africa, in Asia, and we also discovered that it does have dams in Brazil as well. And you remember some of the dam collapses in South America this earlier this year. And more about the construction of the dam uh, when it did happen all those years ago. Chinese criticized the state firm behind Free Gorges Dam over Graft Probe. The article reads like this, a scathing report on corruption in the company that built China's $59 billion Free Gorges Dam, the world's biggest hydroelectric scheme, has reignited public anger over the project funding through a special levy paid by all citizens. This special levy we have covered before and it's just an extra addition to water tax. Now it not might not seem so much. but. Even when the dam was being built, people were paying for it. After the dam was being built, people are still paying for it. And even now, people are still paying an extra certain amount of dollar or RMB from their water tax everywhere in China. So is the Free Gorges Dam electricity making money? They employ, the Free Gorges Dam Corporation, I think employ 35,000 people around the world. And they claim to be the biggest electrical company in the world not just with through hydropower but wind and also solar they're looking into now are those effective well that's another story the corruption of this we explained before that the bid goes out for construction companies to build it and when they get the bid then they pass the construction on to another company because they don't want to accept responsibility but they're quite happy to put money in their back pocket then the bid then the bid goes to another company and another company and eventually the company that did build it will take the full responsibility if or when it does collapse. 
And that really is about it for me for today. As always, thank you so much for your time on this Sunday, 27th of March 2022. For the newcomers, do do this subscribe, do do the like. If you can share this on your social media and tell your friends to share it on social media, is really going to help. I do post daily on Twitter, or if I can remember that is, so you can follow me there as well. It's just a link to the YouTube channel. And what I'll leave you with is just another dam in China on the upstream. And it's, I think it's China's newest dam just above, just above Chongqing. So maybe you could say like a thousand kilometers west of the Three Gorges. There are actually 12 dams before the Three Gorges. So if one of those goes, again, we covered before, it's the domino effect. Have a peaceful and restful day on this Sunday. Be well, be happy, be safe. Thank you and goodbye.